Hello everybody, active YouTuber here, and yeah, we're doing this, I'm a news channel now. I'm currently on the Hypixel Alpha network, and yes, I just got kicked out of the Dwarven Mines and Crystal Hollows because they are testing things and stuff, so I can't be there, and that's sad. And whenever Alpha opens, something big is happening, and while you may look at the patch note and say, huh, this is not actually that big of a deal. It actually is, because this includes a lot of little details that may affect the game on a very big scale. So why don't we begin with the first one? Gemstone prized have been nerfed by half. And they say this is due to inflation, and while I can't blame them, I also won't say anything else, because I was never a gemstone miner anyway. So, yeah, but apparently it made a lot of money. There is also a fee for removing gemstones from your gear, but don't rush getting your gemstones off your gear right now, because every gemstone put on gear before this update will be free to remove. So, there's no need to panic about that. There is also a new system added to the gemstone grinder, which is called gemstone lock slots, which basically means you will have to pay to add some gemstones to your gear. But how much will it be? Would it be a million? Five million? Ten million, maybe? Uh, actually, like 5k. So, that isn't really too big of a deal. This is a spreadsheet that has all the gemstones with his attributes added listed. It looks like this. Also, the crystal nucleus might actually be a good idea to do repetitively. Uh, it was before a little bit, but now it may actually make sense for a lot of people. Because each nucleus you complete will give you 800 Heart of the Mountain experience, one of each fine gemstones and some rare drops, which include gemstone mixtures, Fortune 4, Flawless Gemstones, a Mining Speed Pet Item, and Ruby and Jasper Crystals, as well as a higher drop chance of Jade Rolls and Devon's Alloy. This will not only make the Nucleus a great way to grind your Heart of the Mountain experience, it will also make it a lot more profitable. There has also been some changes to how Sludge works, or real not how Sludge Juice works, but instead of how it's gonna play out in the economy. So the main reason sludge juice was so expensive was because there was a high demand of gemstone mixtures, which I don't think will change, but I think there will be a lot more gemstone mixtures in rotation than before. First off, because you can get them from the nucleus, but also because the gemstone mixtures recipe got nerfed down to 320 sludge juice, from the previous 500 sludge juice. Let's just not count the fact that they added a few more gemstones to that recipe. And to add on this, the jungle pickaxe now works. Can you believe it? I don't think it ever worked in the first place, but it should be working now, you know? Should be. And there has also been a new rarity officially added to the game called Divine, which comes after Mythic. This was added because when you recom the Mythic item, you would get an item with no reforges. And this was no problem until the Devance Drill got introduced to the game, which was a Mythic Drill which needed reforges not to work, but to work properly. And as you can see in these screenshots, the Divine Rarity actually allows for reforged stats to be added to an item. There has been some minor changes to the Scather Pet and Worm Spawning, meaning worms can now spawn in a slightly larger tunnel than before. And the Scather Pet basically hasn't been changed. There has also been some minor changes, including the Artifact of Power being upgraded when all perfect gemstones are added to it, as well as a toggle for pristine and combat messages in chat. If you want to read the whole article for yourself, it will be in the description of the video. And with that, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you later. Bye!